Amethyst here from thecoolmom.co and I'm so excited to walk you through a little bit of our family holiday traditions. Now, we love to cook over here in this house, but during the holidays, we love to bake. And so as you can see, we bake up a storm. But why we like it is because it's something that we can do as a family and it's something that we can do at home. So it's a great at home activity to include everyone in the family, including the kids and everyone kind of get involved. And this year especially, what's really important is that all the things that we bake up, we can send over in pretty little boxes to our friends and families that we can't really be with right now. So make sure you watch and enjoy. All right, so we are going to start by making cookies today. Hello, welcome to the video. Hi. So first and foremost, we are in our cute little matching aprons from Etsy. How adorable are these? Do you guys like them? Yeah. I do too. I like the matching. It makes it for a good picture on the holidays, right? It's my third apron. Is it? Okay, so we are gonna do our DIY baking kit. It is from Etsy, actually. And so you can buy a sugar uh, cookie tree from Etsy and everything already comes included, which makes it super simple, super easy, and great for kids. All right, so I'm gonna start laying everything out. instructions and let's go ahead and get started. Let's preheat the oven to 325. In a medium bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder, and salt. So we're going to use actually this medium bowl, which is actually really cute. We got that from Etsy as well. It's a white speckled kind of ceramic bowl. Um, and the speckles are very, very light, so it looks more white. Speckled bowl, but it's really great because it has a pouring spout, which I love that feature. It's something you don't see too often. So let's put in flour, make sure we put it in here. Did you wash your hands? Yep, we've all washed our hands. Okay, so what's better, what makes it easier when you do, when you do the butter, is to put it in slices. So let's slice it up now. Do half of this. Hold on. That's about half, don't you think, guys? Oh, death. Okay. Now let's mix it on up some more. Alright, so now we're gonna add in our flour mixture that we prepared before. So Nyla, why don't you go ahead and pour it in our flour mixture? Great. Whoa. Nice. Keep going. A little bit of left. It's kind of heavy, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Got it. Awesome. That is All right, Nima, can you start stirring it? Okay. In the bowl. Not out of the bowl. In the bowl. This is getting like dough. That's right. It's, that's exactly right. It's supposed to be dough. It's cooking dough. All right, so now we're going to form our dough into one big ball. All right, so we've divided them into two balls of our dough. And now we're going to flatten them down. So guys, let's flatten them down. You guys flatten them down into a flat disc. You can either use plastic wrap for this step, or if you have parchment paper, you can use parchment paper for this step. But all we're going to do is we're going to move our discs flat. Whoa, whoa, here we go, here we go. Can I eat it? No, it's raw, baby. Wrap it up, and we're going to put it into the freezer for 20 minutes. While the cookies are freezing for the 20 minutes, I just want to show you guys a couple of the Etsy finds that I found that are perfect for this holiday season. So one of them is this copper measuring spoon set, which I just think is super adorable. All of the numbers are just etched in right here. And as you can tell, I've already been using it. I just love it. I think it's the best. Also, what I think is a really great gift on Etsy, actually, if you have a cook in your life or a baker in your life, is this really cool cutting board that I've gotten my Sunday morning pancake recipe etched into and then a matching cloth that goes with it. I mean, come on y'all, that is the perfect gift. Fun for the holidays uh, and actually anytime to drizzle over your pies or your cakes or your cookies. This is cinnamon spiced raw honey and this one is, oh, this one's so good, Cacao Luxe. Now this one will be great in a cup of coffee or even hot chocolate. 
These spices are also really cool. This handcrafted spice cocoa winter chai. Now I'm in love with anything chai. So this in like a couple of scoops of this in a warm milk would be perfect with a slice of pumpkin pie. And then I have been loving to cook with these and bake with these this holiday season. We have this yummy cinnamon, nutmeg, and cardamom. And let me tell you, they're just really quality spices all from Etsy. So part of the fun of baking is being able to show it off. And I found some really cool things on Etsy to show off my pies and my cookies and my cakes this holiday season. One of them is this really nice speckled pie dish, which you could actually use for even a serving dish if you were gonna put some like greens or macaroni and cheese or something like that in it. But it does fit a nine inch pie perfectly. Also, I love anything serving platter, I am good. And this light wood just feels like it gives this airy feel during the holidays, which I love, and the white. But this is a really great cake platter that I'm using to show off some of my croissants. This serving dish, also, this has become a fan fave in my kitchen. I'm using it to just put some fruits in here just for the kids so they can pick up and go as they go throughout the day um, since they're home all the time. <laughs> but this is really pretty because, you know, the speckles in the white, the ceramic, and then the two-tone just brings in some of the other earth color elements of my kitchen. <laughs> so another one, join the group. <laughs> um, all right, so our 20 minutes are up for our freezing of our cookie dough. Let's go grab the cookie dough and then we're going to come over here okay. and we are going to roll it out. Super cute from Etsy also. We got these matching rolling pins, one for Minnie and one for Mommy. All right, so now we are going to use our cookie cutters that came with our kit. Um, to make our stars. And we're gonna try and just make as many as we can so we can make a star tree. Good job. I keep losing kids. It's mommy and me cooking. That's Only why. mommy and me. That's why you have three of them. So if you lose them. One will sit. There's still one that'll hang out with you. I like hanging out with mommy. are finished baking we have put them all here they cooled so they're nice and cool and now they are ready to decorate so we have our frosting that we mix which is just confection sugar a little bit of water and we get to decorate ready guys ready all right now just decorate all of your cookies have your kids enjoy decorating, have fun. And after they're finished, we're gonna put them in pretty little boxes. So finally, our cookies are finished being decorated and we can finally put them in really cute decorative boxes that I found over on Etsy. Uh, these are super cute to give as gifts to any of your friends and family during the holidays. So here we go. enjoyed our special holiday baking video with me and my kiddos. Uh, it's a, such a perfect time of year to bake all the things with you guys and make sure to shop my pics below to find all of my fave Etsy holiday finds in bakeware and beyond. If you want to follow me, make sure to head over to thecoolmom.co for all the things that are cool life. All right guys, talk to you soon. <laughs>